name again? Happy. There was uh, the, there was the um, Harry, 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 Henry, and Homer. Homer. All right, Sophie, you ready? And what is this one? Henry. 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 Are you ready? ready? On your mark, okay. get set, go. go. How's it going? Doing a little bit of a semi-live game hunting today. Uh, today is December 5th, and one specific pawn store is having their, I guess their Black Friday sale or their Christmas sale. Uh, and this was a huge sale they did last year also, and I found a ton of stuff. So I'm really excited about it. I don't have to work today, so I'm going to spend pretty much the morning hitting up as many as I can. Um, so, about five minutes till nine when the pawn store is open and I'm on my way to the first one. Uh, wish me luck. I've got a handful of things I want to find. I'm looking for some DS games. I'd love to find uh, Chrono Trigger on the DS. Um, the, uh, final couple Final Fantasies on the DS. Uh, I'd like to find uh, <clears throat> Star Ocean Till the End of Time for the PS2 uh, for Matt Diesel Gaming. I know he's looking for one. So a couple of things I'm looking for. Um, probably a couple Wii games. Uh, a Boyna's Blob is one I'd like to find. Um, other than that, just hope to find some uh, good stuff and for good prices. And uh, like I said, uh, should be a good time. I said there's probably about nine or ten stores I know of that I will try to hit up. So uh, like I said, it should be a good morning here. Thanks. All right, so finally after the third store, I found something. Uh, the first two were busts and a ton of people in both. You know, the last sale, when I, the last time they had the sale, I was the first one at a store. I was there a couple minutes early. I was about a minute, two minutes late, and it was packed. So I guess it's just because it's Christmas. But uh, So I found three games. I paid a dollar sixty-two for them, which is awesome. I think she just wanted to get rid of me because there were a million people in there. But here, I, here's what I found. Uh, you can see Resident Evil, The Umbrella Chronicles, Samurai Warriors 2 Empires, and uh, Heroes of Might and Magic, uh, Quest for the Dragon Bone Staff. That's a game I already had, but uh, again, I paid $1.62, so I can't complain at all. So I just thought this was interesting. High-speed wireless and microwave internet. Has anyone ever heard of microwave internet? It doesn't even sound safe. That was all. Uh, so I just hit up another store here. I always say hit up. I, I guess that's the wrong way. I just shopped at another store and picked up some Sega Genesis games. Uh, nothing great, but they're all in the, the hard clamshells. Uh, they were all complete and uh, in pretty good condition. So uh, they were 75 cents. And then I picked up a game for uh, JCAU 99. I'll go ahead and show that first. Uh, since I know that he loves pinball uh, and he just did a video, uh, I've got another game for him here. And it is... If you can see that pinball of the dead for the Game Boy Advance. I just thought of you, Josh, so that is going to you. But uh, as they're sliding around the car here, here are the Genesis games I picked up. Uh, you can see PJ Golf. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. PJ Golf, Jeopardy Sports Edition, uh, Major League Baseball Player Association Baseball, that's a lot to say, uh, Side Pocket, and Tony, Tony uh, LaRusa baseball. Uh, I will say, I gotta give Tony uh, credit here. It's got all, like, a bunch of stat sheets and all the av batting averages and all that stuff. So it's actually pretty cool they included all that stuff. So uh, I paid uh, five bucks for all those Genesis games and the, the Game Boy Advance game. Uh, so I still got a plenty of uh, places to go. Uh, I've spent about, I think, ten bucks now. Uh, yeah, I think about ten bucks and Got about 10 or 11 games, so I'd like to keep my average down. If I can average less than a dollar a game, that'd be great. Uh, so I had some lunch, went to a few more stores. Um, so I've got a few things to show you. Uh, this last store finally had some DS games, but nothing that I wanted. Uh, they had like 20 or 30, but they were all uh, just terrible stuff. Uh, and I almost picked up SimCity Creator. Um, 
but they had it marked for I think $4.99 or $5.99. Anyway, she wouldn't go down to a dollar for it, and uh, so I didn't really want it. Uh, but I picked out some PS2 games, which has kind of been the bulk of my pickups today, uh, which is fine because I love you know PS2 games, I like finding them, but still nothing super great. I found a couple of decent ones uh, here though. Uh, I had four picked out. Uh, she told me they were a dollar fifty a piece. I asked if she would do a dollar each on them. Um, and she told me if I picked out two more games, then I could do a dollar each. So, picked out six games here, and uh, they're all complete, which is cool. Uh, you know, I didn't really look at the discs. I hope that's not going to be an issue, but let's go through them here. All right, so we got Without Warning, which I've never heard of, but it's a Capcom title. Uh, picked out Splinter Cell, uh, Stealth Action Refine Redefined. SSX 3, these are kind of fun games. Heroes of the Pacific, which just looks like, kind of like a fun uh, dog fighting game. I believe there's a, that's on the Wii also. Uh, here's a, one of the better titles, Shadow of the Colossus. Um, and then uh, God of War 2. Uh, the mostly I wanted the, the Shadow of Colossus, because um, mine was uh, Greatest Hits and I had given it to my sister to play, so now I've, now I've replaced it and she can keep that one. So. Uh, so that was from that last pawn store. I went to one before then that I forgot to show. I paid a dollar each on these. Uh, I picked up some more PlayStation 2 stuff. Tony Hawk 3 and 4. Those are just upgrades. Uh, so now uh, they're black label. I believe I only have one more Tony Hawk game that's uh, greatest hits that I need to upgrade. Uh, and I can't remember which one it is right offhand. But, uh, so then I picked up Stuntman. It just looked interesting. The driver games are a lot of fun. It said it's from the, the makers of it. And then for my daughter, uh, Crayola Colorful Journey. Uh, this was a dollar also, so, um, you know, it'll be fun. It's silly for her to do. So, so again, a lot of PS2 games. I'm still averaging a dollar a game, which is pretty decent. So, all right, I just went to probably my favorite store of lately. Uh, this is the store where I found uh, Worms Armageddon. Uh, for a couple of bucks, and so I was really excited to go here and see what they had, and I, the guy comes over to help me as I'm looking at the games, and they had a bunch of games. They had, they probably had a hundred uh, DS games uh, laid out. Only a handful of them were good. I picked up one, um, and then they had uh, Super Mario Advance 3, Super Mario World, whatever one is Super Mario World for the Game Boy Advance. Um, they had that and three Pokemon games, but the Pokemon games were were priced at 25 bucks, and that Super Mario Advance game was, uh, I think, marked at 15 or something. So they didn't go down on those. But he told me everything was five dollars, and you know, including the PlayStation 2. And I was like, Are you sure? I was like, Because that's more than what your normal price is. And he's like, Yep, everything's five dollars. And I uh, and I was like, Okay. And I left, and I, I was actually upset, like. That's absolutely ridiculous. I was like, that your sale is more than your, uh, you know, than your normal prices. So I, I actually walked to the car, decided to walk back, because uh, there were a couple games I wanted. I was like, I, I gotta believe that's not right. So I went and got got another employee and asked them, and nope, their PS2 games are a dollar. And she said all of their uh, DS games were normally five bucks, uh, but they're marked at half price. Uh, except for the Pokemon and stuff, which I I assumed, but uh, I guess those days are gone where I was picking up dollar and two dollar Pokemon games. But I did get a couple of good stuff here. Uh, I paid a little more than I wanted. Uh, like I said, I mean, I paid uh, two fifty for two, uh, or I paid two fifty each for two Game Boy Advance games and a DS game, uh, and then I paid a uh, dollar for the Game Boy or for the PS2. So I paid nine dollars total, and I'll show you what I got here. All right, so I got Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal, which, as I'm thinking about it, I believe is a duplicate. Um, so as a dollar, it'll probably just get thrown in with a tray I do or something. Um, but I picked up Game and Watch Gallery Four, which I almost put that back. Um, I got the Mega Man uh, Battle Network Three Blue, uh, and then I picked up Ivy the Kiwi on the DS, uh, which is supposed to be a pretty good game. It's X Seed. Uh, which is uh, who makes Last Story and Skycrawlers and uh, Xenoblade on the Wii. So I'm actually a little bit excited about Ivy the Kiwi. But uh, so as you can, hopefully you can see, I paid nine dollars uh, for those four games. I broke my dollar a game uh, 
ratio that I was doing, but uh, you know, oh well. At least I'm finding some stuff. Glad to at least find a DS game. Um, those uh, Game Boy Advance games, I don't know if I'll keep those. Uh, you know, the Game & Watch, I don't know if they're uncommon or anything. I just know I hadn't seen them in a while. Uh, I see the Mega Man uh, Battle Network games every once in a while, and I might even have that one already. I'll have to look, but uh, but glad to find some different stuff here. Still another PS2 game, but that's all right. Um, so here are my pickups from the Customer Appreciation Christmas Sale the Super Ponds were having. It is 34 games. I'll just kind of do a quick pan over. So Dynasty Tactics 2 and Ratchet Clank. Sorry about the glare. I Ninja. Without Warning. God of War 2. Shadow Colossus. These are all complete, which is really cool. Battlefront and Battlefront 2. Halo 2. Tony Hawk 4, some Genesis stuff here, side pocket, cat, um, some more baseball, Jeopardy, uh, yeah, Tony Hawk 3, Halo 2 Collector's Tin, Roller Coaster Tycoon, Heroes of Might and Magic, SSX, uh, Yakuza 2, Pac-Man World 3, Samurai Wars Empires 2, uh, Vice City with the map and the manual, and then some uh, Game Boy Advance and a DS game. We got for uh, JCU99, it says Pinball of the Dead, that's for him. Mega Man Battle Network 3 Blue, Game & Watch Gallery, and if you can see that, let's try to get a better view. Nope. It's Ivy the Kiwi, it's just hard to read. So that is from my, uh, you know, Super Pond Super Sale, I p picked up 34 games total, and I paid $37 total. So all in all, I mean, it was definitely great deals. Uh, but it, like, like uh, you know, you probably saw it. Nothing super spectacular. Uh, the Yakuza 2 was kind of cool to find. Um, I was glad to find Star Wars Battlefront 1 because I needed that. Uh, the Shadow of Colossus. Um, so, you know, again, I was happy. I had a great time. That's all that really matters. That's for you, Gabrielle Minogue.